So now let us go to the actual problem. In case of a distance vector routing, uh, we got a problem, call it as the count to infinity problem. So let us go for one more algorithm called link state routing algorithm. So these all are the routers. Uh, out of that, any one router will be chosen as the root router. So for example, I am choosing this A as the root router, electing one router. So basically here what happens is in case of this link state routing, initially all the routing tables might be empty, but how they will get a global information just like you got in the distance vector routing. So what happens is here the common logic is every router will have some initial information. If you observe this router D, it knows very well and we know the second statement in the uh, uh, like in the routing algorithms, every router will be knowing the information of what directly connected routers. So this router D knows that it is connected to C as 5 units, to B as 6 units and E as 5 units. So that is information it is having. So that information we call here the term as the LSP packet in the form of a packet you can say control packet called LSP packet. LSP means what link state packet. Same like that. This E also will have a LSP packet. Okay, what is the meaning of LSP packet? E will have that it is connected to B with 9 units, it is connected to D as 5 units initially. So that is called LSP packet. So this gives you an idea. Every router will have some basic information, and that information will be treated as a LSP packet. So every router, whatever they have that LSP packet they will give to this root router you can see. So when every router, when every router okay is giving that LSE packets whatever they have the information to that A, now A is having a complete global information or not. So that global information we call by a packet that you can call it as the LSDB packet here okay link state database packet it is going to generate that means this lsdb packet will contain a complete information of the network like number of routers number of links which are up and which are down so in case of distance vector when a link is broken you got a problem called count infinity now let us try whether we get any problem or not here in this case now this lsdb packet it contains this information also like uh, a to b that link is what broken like that okay fine now see this router a whatever is lsdb packet is there that lsdb packet will be now given to all the routers what does that lsdb packet contains it contains a complete information of the network the number of routers number of links which are up and which are down the lan networks connected everything it will be knowing so basically here, suppose say this router C is having some information already, some information in the routing table. So now this LSD packet is given to all the routers. So you tell me what is the best way of giving this LSD packet to all the routers? You already learned that's called flooding. Using flooding, the LSD packet is given to all the routers. So what happens once, once this LSD packet came to this router C or some other router also. Every router, they are going to compare the LSDB entries with the existing entries of the table, you can say. Say for example, previously this router uh, C is having some information like uh, A to B is connected with some one unit. Now this LSDB it is telling that it is broken. Then it is going to be updated as what? A to B is broken. Not all this information, remaining all information also will be updated. So two things will happen at router C. If it doesn't have any information, then it will keep as it is, whatever the LSDB is giving. If it is already having some information, then that value will be updated. So what happens C, B or D and E also, they will get the latest information about the network immediately with the help of this LSDB. So here, whatever the link is broken, it is known immediately at router C, at D, B and E also with the help of LSDB. Then you will not get any count infinity problem because every router knows that this link is broken. 
then no router will forward the data via that broken link then you don't get any count to infinity but why you got this problem in a uh, distance vector routing when a link is broken the neighboring routers are giving a false inf false information that they know how to reach that broken link like they say 2 3 4 5 6 so on up to infinity before actually knowing that it is infinity that they cannot reach they are making a quasi stable so you got a count to infinity but now you, why you don't get this problem here when the link is broken it is known to all routers immediately with the help of this lsdp packet so the, there is no count to infinity problem okay understand the logic here so here if you can ask me uh, so after some time this a to b is again connected with one or two then how does uh, again c d b e everybody knows that this link is again working so this gives you an idea this lsd packet should be generated generated how periodically with the latest information again this b or c they will give a lsp packet regarding that link then its lsdb packet will be generated periodically then every router again will be updated so finally what is the logic lsdb packet should be generated only one time or periodically what is the answer periodically with what with the latest information of the network so you will not get any count infinity problem so you can ask a one doubt here suppose router c is having that a to b is connected and lsdb is saying that a to b is broken how does this router c has to believe on that lsdb only whatever it is having the old information that might be true so that is the reason there will be timestamp will be there at what time it knows that a to b is connected say suppose at 11 10 okay and once lsd packet is telling that a to b is broken suppose say the time is at suppose say 11 15 so which one is the latest information 11 15 so definitely it will be updated as in this way so this is called it as a timestamp or a age factor you can say like that every router will get the complete information of the network so you have to understand when this b is sending some suppose d is sending lsp packet it can again send one more lsp if some new things are added or some links are broken okay like that so no need to send the old information suppose say for example for this d suppose some e is connected with four units this d will send regarding this e in the lsp packet newly but it, it, it doesn't require to send the old information okay so that is the logic so when the link is broken it is known to all the routers so you will not get any count to infinity problem okay now one doubt you can ask me here when the a is uh, sending this lsdb packet uh, it is given to all routers using flooding but in flooding there is one problem now that you can ask what is the problem in flooding what will problem there is a possibility of forming a loop or a cycle not only that there might be a possibility of conjunction so what you can do when you try to apply this flooding this is called it as a graph this entire graph if you can convert into tree and then if you apply flooding then the problem will be resolved so converting the graph into tree is done by an algorithm that you can call it as the shortest path tree algorithm shortest path tree algorithm or you can also call that algorithm as the dijkstra's algorithm also you can so how to convert that graph into tree that i am going to explain now